good day, traders. This is Richard. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Richard Rube, broadcasting live from downtown Summerlin, April 13th, 9.30 a.m. The G20, the largest uh, countries in the world with financial clout. Now, their financial clout is relative to their gross domestic product, gross um, um, exports, production, etc. The G20 is made up of 20 of the largest countries in the world. By large, I mean in gross domestic product. And the first one would be, let's look at them. Let's look at the, the members. Here's the G20 and what it does. And uh, you can uh, uh, look at this link, just go, uh, just, I, I, all I did was um, um, select um, G20 nations in my search. And I came up with the first one I got was this one right here. And another place to look at it would be down here in Wikipedia. We'll look at that in a minute. But let's just look at the nations themselves. And uh, how did I get there a minute ago? Here we go. So let's see if they list them here. First, I want to see who the nations are. Let's see if I can find that for you. I'll have to go to Wikipedia. It'll list them. Here they are. Ah, the flag and everything. There's their, their chiefs. Um, and who are they? Okay, let's look at that. Okay, in alphabetical order here, we got Australia and Argentina, Brazil, uh, Canada, China, France, Germany, Indian, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, South Korea, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Turkey, United Kingdom, United States, European Union. And there's a couple more down here, I think. No, the European Union is the last one. Now, there's a ranking, and I don't care about the ranking. Uh, well, maybe we'll look at the ranking here. Let's see if I can make this a little smaller so I can squinch it. Okay. You know what a brick is, right? Brazil, Russia, India, China, and uh, somebody else. Uh, some country that starts with an S. There are the, 10 years ago, the bricks were identified around 2010 or 28. I don't know when they all, when that term came out, but it's Brazil and Russia and India and China were the emerging nations. Uh, um, and I forgot what BRIC stands for now, but it's those, well, I know what it stands for. It stands for those countries. I just forget who S is. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and uh, I don't know who the S is. We'll, we'll find out maybe. And these other uh, OECD and OPEC, they're, they're, they're the people who, who produce oil. Um, and these other terms here, and there's the G4. And uh, who are the G4? Well, let's see who the G4 are. I would suspect they're uh, Europe and the United States and trying to take these G20 nations and divide them into different categories. There's their population. There's China at a billion um, point four. America, Brazil is 210 uh, million. And um, India is about the same size as China. My goodness, just about the same. And here's Indonesia with 265 million. That, they're almost as big as America. And then America's got... Uh, uh, 328 million, whereas the European Union has 500 million and the uh, United Kingdom has uh, 66 million. Saudi Arabia has 33 million. South Africa has 57. So get a handle on who these people are. This is the G20. Of course, of course, the uh, 
the European Union is in there as a group because they became a, a single entity. And um, then UK is separate now because they left the European Union. South, South Africa is on the list. Saudi Arabia is on the list. Russia is on the list. Mexico. And let's, let's see what trade in billions of dollars. Uh, uh, United States is, is, is so, I don't know how many billion that is, but it's more than four billion, so it must be. And then UK is, um, here's the GDP. Okay, the United States is 20 billion. European Union is 15 billion. And who's next? Here's 14 billion in China. And they're the only ones that are double digit is those three the european union united states and china they're the three biggest and who would be the next biggest japan at five billion or it's more than five billion china's got 27 something and the u.s got 21 and europe has 22. there are different ways to measure it the nominal gdp <coughs> I don't know what all these numbers mean. You have to be an economist to know that. And I don't really, it doesn't help me make money in trading, but it is good to know information on who these people are and how when one of them does something, it impacts the others. Look at the United States is not the, not the biggest. This is area in kilometers. This is Russia's bigger than twice as big as us. Um, and uh, India's um, not near as big as um, China and Canada and Brazil and Australia. They're big in size. So that is a little bit of knowledge. Now, go to this link. Just look up G20 and go into Wikipedia, and you can get all the information you need to know. But when they say G G20... Uh, you know one thing, that every one of these countries has a, fed, uh, has a central bank. And where do you think the money is kept that represents that central bank? Where do you think that is? I'm going to leave that to you to figure it out. I'm not sure. One of these days, I'll know. There you go. Read that paragraph there. I'll tell you enough. You go look it up yourself and expand your knowledge base. It will help you understand how the world turns. Thank you for your attention. 8 to 80, blind, crippled, or crazy. I will teach you how to use my right hand trade to take 500 a day to keep the job away in just one hour a day while you watch us trade live right before your eyes.